Today's conference was about our approach to working with personality disorders across the lifespan, taking a therapeutic focus. Well, we've had a range of presentations, so we started with a focus on early intervention. So we had our keynote speaker, Dr Dickon Beventon from the Anna Freud Centre, talking about AMBIT. Um, and then uh, that was followed up by our Associate Director of Therapies in CAM Services, talking about the application of that type of thinking uh, within our CAM services and the development generally of uh, services for people who are becoming quite emotionally dysregulated, young people and uh, support for their families. We went on from there to look more at the service user experience uh, really and work that we're doing to support people using services both to access therapies but also to step down from therapies and to engage in other really rewarding aspects of life really, day to day life. Um, and that, that particular section of the conference uh, we had a keynote speech from Dr Stephen Miller from the SUM project which was really excellent so that's really good. And then this afternoon we've had a very intensive session looking at a range of different therapies that are provided within SABP. Some of the key points that were really meaningful to me were points around collaboration, working together with people who use services, respectfulness, so respectfulness of um, ourselves and what we're delivering in terms of our own skill and competence level, respectfulness of our teams and the people that we work with, and respectfulness of other organisations and of course at the top, respectfulness for the people who are using our services and their families. So respect was a very important message. I think there was an acknowledgement of the complexity of this type of work and that it's very difficult, it's challenging, also rewarding. It was Dickon Beventon that really brought home to me the message that it's okay to be anxious and we need to acknowledge the level of anxiety that working with people with a high level of risk can cause for, for staff and for organisations. He talked about who holds the rope for the person who's working with somebody with these types of challenging and complex needs and the message for teams is that this is not about an individual endeavour, it is about a team and an organisational endeavour. Um, he gave a lovely analogy actually about when the cabin pressure drops, fit your own mask first, which is using that to illustrate that it's important to take care of ourselves before we can take care of other people. And when we're working with people in high levels of distress, it's important that we just take that moment for ourselves to ensure that we are uh, as contained as possible and uh, you know, as supported as possible.